I looked at Pierre, uh, recently was made a director and a shareholder of the company, so I'm now chef patron. Um, I'm, here, I'm still here six days a week, head chef of the kitchen, and that's basically it. Uh, in terms of the role now, I mean, I'm more of a manager. Um, I'm more involved with the service than ever before. We do two briefings a day before lunch and dinner service. Um, I'm very focused with the guys in the kitchen, as always, very passionate about training them. Uh, we have two young guys, junior sous chefs, they're both doing extremely well and um, I'm trying to give them more responsibility and not. When I first took over, I was, I was trying to do everything myself and it was too much and I was running myself into the ground. Now I'm trying to not necessarily take a step back, but I'm trying to give people more confidence and hopefully like, to give them that reward, they'll stay stronger and stay with me. Uh, in terms of the food at the moment, I mean, what we've always tried to do is we're always looking at the seasons, we're always speaking with our suppliers. We have an extremely good relationship with our suppliers because I'm, I'm not one of them guys like that I want to have 50 suppliers. I have a couple of select different suppliers and I have a really good relationship with them and then they look after me in return. Um, in terms of the food, like it's a lot lighter than it used to be. It always has been. I've never been a fan of um, cooking with a lot of cream or fat or butter. You can do and of course it's delicious, but when you do the big tasting menus, menus and everything else, when you cook with natural bitter and sour flavours, it's good for you. It's like you can eat a whole menu and still feel good about yourself and it's good for your liver. And so that's what we've always tried to do, but we're trying to refine that more and, and look at that more closely and using obviously a lot of citrus and acidity, that's what we do. I mean, for me, it's very important for, for, the, for the seasonality aspect of it because um, it, obviously the produce is just going to be better <clears throat> because if it's in season, um, of course it's going to be uh, better to use. So, I mean, at the moment, like, we're using things like the, all the different curly kales, we have all the game coming in, like, and it's just amazing for the guys to see that in the kitchen when they see all this different produce coming in all the time. And also your menus are constantly changing, um, the uh, different ideas are coming from different people in the kitchen, and it's, it's just good for a kitchen that's working with the seasons and trying to um, get feedback off each other and just work together and everything else. Uh, in terms of suppliers and working with a company like Wild Harvest, um, they're just they're a fantastic company. They're at the top of their game. They're always on the phone to you. They're always trying to recommend things, what, what, what you can use. And that's good for me as well, because when you're stuck in your kitchen all day long, you, <clears throat> you don't know when stuff's coming in. So you need that constant feedback from, from, from a company like that, where they're telling you, oh, chef, you know, we got the hairs coming in next week, or grouse, or, or different vegetables, or whatever it may be. And that's so important for me, like the way I work here. I need somebody like that to, to be relaying that information onto me. Um, also, like you know, the deliveries are always spot on. You can specify when you want them to come, and they won't let you down. It's always going to be there. Um, if you do ever have a problem, they're more than willing to sort it out for you. And uh, just in general, they're a top top company. Uh, in terms of accolades and awards and the guides and everything else, um, you know, we have one Michelin star here. We're extremely proud of that. Um, but no, of course, we don't cook for guides. We don't cook for accolades or whatever else. We're just we're extremely proud to have that. And it's an amazing achievement for a small little sort of backstreet restaurant like this. We're a neighbourhood restaurant and um, like we're always just trying to do the best we do. We're always trying to work hard, we're always trying to get better. We want to get better. And um, just like we have some amazing regular customers that they come and they eat here like three, four, five times a week. So that's who we cook for, you know. I know everyone says it, but like we are so passionate about the, the customers that we have here because we're grateful that they want to come here. Because like you say with the guides, in London alone, like, there's 52 women's, women's just our restaurants, so they can go anywhere for lunch. So we're extremely grateful to them that they want to come here and they want to eat here, and, and that's who we cook for, and that's what I'm proud to do.